Hello, I'm Edith Nachiinji, Social Studies teacher at Woods Wilkins MHS campus. I can be reached directly at inachiinji at mariedacity.ketalk.gaus. My phone number is 770-429-3188, extension 8419. You can use that phone number during our face-to-face -face interaction. But at the moment, my office hours are Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 8.30. In the afternoon, it's 2 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. On Fridays, it's 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. I have over, 12, over 15 years of uh, high school teaching experience. At the moment, I'm a doctoral student whose interests involve understanding student experiences with academic support services and career development resources and programs designed to enhance transferable career skills. At the moment, I facilitate social studies classes at Woods Wilkins MHS campus. All our classes are online. We use an ingenuity platform. I facilitate world history, United States history, American government, psychology, sociology, and world geography. I utilize a blended learning approach. So this depends on specific learning, learning style of the student. All the class syllabi are posted on Woods Wilkins MHS campus Schoology website. Today, I will briefly uh, talk about course information, course expectations, expectations of virtual classroom, expectations of, of the students, commitment of the teacher, course curriculum, assessments, and grading policy. All our course information can be found on the Schoology page for Woods Walkins campus at that address listed on the screen. Course expectations. Attendance is very important. This is, these are online classes and it's very important that students attend class by logging in and complete the assigned work for that day. Students should be able to come with headphones all necessary materials, including but not limited to writing utensils, class notebook, homework, and a paper. Students must also be prepared to actively participate in class activities and discussion. During face-to-face -face interaction, we in the classroom, we get together and talk about various topics and to make sure that everyone is on the right track and all the information is clear to them. During uh, virtual learning we link we zoom in and we have a discussion on specific topics also the zoom links can be found on the schoology page if not schoology page i've also posted those zoom links on ingenuity page expectations of a virtual classroom communication will be key email the teacher via ingenuity with any questions or concerns Schedule a phone chat or Zoom to discuss progress or challenges. Please review the syllabus and let me know if you have any questions. I'm very excited to work with you. Expectations of the students. Academic engagement and productivity. That means when the student get on ingenuity, they have to interact the information. They have to take notes. They have to listen to the lectures so that they can be able to comprehend what they are doing. Productivity. Productivity implies that the student has to be able to produce. They have to be able to finish the assigned course within a specific given time. And once they finish that class, they can take off and take on another class. Academic integrity. We'll be following MHS academic integrity policies. So I'm expecting students to exercise academic integrity and make sure that their work is authentic. Participate in course activities, Zoom discussions and take notes. So again, the Zoom link is going to be posted in Ingenuity on the front page on the announcements and on the Schoology page, on the class Zoom, on, on the class Schoology page. 
Expectations of the students. Major one, maintain ingenuity progress. On ingenuity, there is um, a bar which shows you whether you are behind, you are on target, or you are ahead. Students are expected to complete ingenuity course by the target date. Otherwise, if students don't finish uh, the course date by the end of the semester, they have to retake the class. So it's very important that we remain on target. Commitment of the teacher. I'll be here to support you in honor any areas of academic challenges and making sure that I communicate to you in a timely manner that you get my feedback. I also be um, communicating to the parents to let you know how your student is working. Okay. Course curriculum. The course curriculum is based on the social studies Georgia standards of excellency. Assessment, students will take quizzes and unit tests online in ingenuity. Ingenuity work will constitute 100% of the course grade. In US History B, which is an end of course test course, the ingenuity counts, counts for 80% of the course grade. The EOC test course counts for 20% of the final course grade. So all other classes in social studies do not have a milestone. But US History B has a milestone and all the work they do in ingenuity is 80% of that course grade and 20% of the course grade will come from the test, which is done at the end of the semester. Grading policy. 30% of the grade is formative and 40% of the grade is Summative. Summative implies these are tests, major tests we take within the courses, and formative, these are assignments, projects, and instructions in ingenuity. Thank you so much, and I look forward to work with you this semester. Thank you.